After I got out of high school and got a job, I started taking flying lessons. I started out flying on the Ronca Champ, walking through the row of airplanes, and I saw this beautiful Swift, just a polished original Swift. And I fell in love with it right there. And I told my instructor, uh, that's what I'm going to get. And he advised me, no, it's not an airplane you would really be comfortable with. And he told me all the negatives and everything, but I never got it out of my mind. That's what I really wanted. And finally, I went looking for a Swift. Just by chance, I stopped it, forgetting how it was. But I saw the Swift on the ramp, and it looked pretty beat. But I noticed that it had a new prop, and I could see the engine was new, looked fairly new. And the tires were good, but uh, it needed paint. So we said, give me $2,700 for it. So I agreed to it, and that's how I ended up with the Swift. And uh, instead of painting it, I started polishing it. And it's been this way for, I bought it in 65, so that makes it, what, uh, 52 years, 53 years? Over the years, you get to meet friends that you have for life. It's, uh, the, the Swift is, is everything, it, to me anyway. It's, I enjoy working on it as much as flying it. Yeah, I'll fly as long as I feel comfortable. Yeah. I have no problems at all now. Uh, no reason to stop. People ask me, they said, you still flying? I said, yeah. And they'll say, oh, and they try to get around and finally come out and say, well, what's the age limit? <laughs> yeah, well, I could still I could still take off and land it and fly, fly formation. And that's the way people associate, the family and all, associate me with the airplane. It's just, it's me. It's everything that I do and I really love.